So, how would you like to get this sweet PowerPoint template absolutely free? No wallet or opt-in required. Just click the link and you'll be able to download it. And then follow along with me in this tutorial as I show you how to modify it to make your own awesome PowerPoint video. Let's get started. Hi, Lon Naylor with PPT Video here. And after you download the zip file, just extract the contents. There's a Read Me First here to help get you going. And also, I've included the fonts in their folders. Just right click on these and install. There's also a video preview of the awesome video that you're going to create and the PowerPoint slide deck. Let's go ahead and open this up and we'll get started. The first time you open the slide deck up, there will be an Enable Editing button right around here. Go ahead and click that, and then your very first order of business is going to be to go to File, Save As, Browse to a location on your computer, and save this as a different name so you don't mess up your master copy. This slide deck has 10 slides, and you're going to need 7 images. For best results, these should be widescreen, 16 by 9, high quality images. And there's also an optional logo on the last slide. So let's take a look. Now at first glance, it might seem kind of strange that all the slides look blank here. So what we need to do is, on the first slide, we'll go ahead and click on any object, go to Format, and open up the Must Have tool to be able to modify advanced templates like this, the Selection Pane. You can also click the link to watch my tutorial on how to add this and other must-have tools up on your Quick Access Toolbar. The first two slides don't have any images, they have text. But as you can see, the text is a little bit buried down in the layers here. So what I'm going to do is hide all and then turn this layer back on. And now I can go ahead and modify my text. Make sure you turn them all back on when you're finished, and then we'll go ahead and click the star here to preview. Let's go ahead and repeat this process for the next slide, which also has text on it. Hide all, show the text box, and go ahead and modify it. Turn all the layers back on, and give it a quick preview. Let's move on to the next slide. This slide has an image that we'll modify. And if you're noticing a trend here, I'm going to go ahead and hide all, and then I'm going to look for the stuff that I want to reveal to be able to modify. All the way down at the bottom, I can see that there is a picture placeholder. So let's go ahead and turn that on by clicking the eye. And at this point, what I can do is right click on it and say change picture from file. Navigate to my pictures, choose the first image and insert. Let's scroll back up a little bit and see what other elements we might want to modify. So here, I'm going to turn this one on. It says Slideshow Opener, and I can see it's a text box. And the same with this. And I know these are text boxes because if you notice, all of the other elements on this slide basically have shape, descriptions, and other kinds of element names to them. So here, I'll just double click and modify the text. Once you're finished with that, don't forget to show all and preview. Modifying the rest of the slides is basically following that same process. Hide all, find your image, turn it on, right click, change picture from file, and then choose your next image. Find your text, turn it on, modify as you wish, and show all. Preview. After you've made all your modifications, go to File, Export, Create a Video, and it's very important that you change the seconds spent on each slide to zero. Click Create Video, and I'm also going to give you one other little suggestion here. There is a known bug in PowerPoint where sometimes advanced slides with lots of animations rendered out in the MPEG-4 format get a little squirrely, a little glitchy. 
So one workaround for that is to go ahead and instead of MP4, choose Windows Media File. I found that these seem to work a lot better, especially if you're uploading them to social media or pulling them into Camtasia to do some additional work on. Click Save and PowerPoint will render out your video. Here's a couple of extra, a little more advanced tips for you. So on this slide, I'm going to go ahead and hide all and choose my picture, right click, change picture, and if your images aren't in a widescreen format, let me just pick a sample here, you'll notice it doesn't cover the whole slide here. So you can mess around with this a little bit by clicking on the image, go to Format, Crop, and under Aspect Ratio, Crop to a 16 by 9. Select the portion of the image that you want to include and then click Crop. Now, when I go ahead and put it up in the corner here and resize it, it snaps right into place. Show All and Preview. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And another nice thing that you can potentially modify here are the filters that are used for the flare effects. These are the oval objects down here. So if I click on this and then right click Format Shape under Fill, you'll notice that it's a gradient and if we go to the first gradient stop down here, you can actually change the color. So I'll change that to a blue, and now you see that the lens flares have changed, and you can do this for both sides of the video. And then finally, depending upon what image you choose, you might find that the text isn't placed where you want it. it might cover up some of your image. And normally we could just move the text boxes around to get them out of the way, but in this example here, you'll notice that we also have some of these line elements that are animating in. So I can't just move the text, I have to move all of that stuff. So here I'm going to go ahead and hide all, turn my image on so that I'll have a background Again, click the text items on, and also let's turn those line elements on. Once I have all of that stuff selected, I'm going to go down and hide my image, and then grab all of these elements, and I usually use my arrow keys to kind of drag them down to where it makes a little more sense show all and preview and all the animations will stay in place and hey if you thought that was cool click the link and check out all of the awesome templates in the Levideo cinematic package this will take you to my special bonus page where I have a lot of extra stuff when you click and get through my link just scroll down to check out all of the sample videos and I have a ton of extra bonuses for you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.